The Stranger's Guide to Talliston is a classic adventure story set inside a unique and amazing house and gardens. Welcome to Talliston, a 25-year project that took the UK's most ordinary house and transformed it room by room by ordinary people on an ordinary budget into Britain's most extraordinary home. Starting as a three-bedroom, semi-detached ex-council house in Essex, today not a single square centimetre of the original house remains. In its place is an extraordinary labyrinth of locations, each set in a different time and place. Now it's time to reveal its untold story. The boy lived all alone in an old abandoned school bus in the middle of a wooded roundabout. His father had once called it the magic roundabout, but the boy didn't know why. He wanted to believe in magic, just like his mother. But if magic did exist, it certainly didn't exist anywhere around here. The novel starts simply, almost as a story you already know, but as you continue deeper and deeper into the book, just like entering a labyrinth, that story starts to change, to get darker and less familiar. Will you, like Joe, make it to the centre? What will you discover there? What Joe discovers is this. The Stranger's Guide to the Dark House and Dangerous Gardens of Talliston. A book charting an immense no-man's land, a world without time or place, built to protect the last magical places on Earth. It's a world the boy gets trapped within, and the harder he tries to escape, the deeper he is drawn inside. Talliston is an incredible example of what can be accomplished with the power of pure imagination. And I wanted the novel to capture what it's like to step from the ordinary world into the extraordinary. I wish when I was 13 I could have discovered Talliston and read this book, because at its heart is the idea that built the entire house, that with inner belief we can all achieve extraordinary things. I hope you'll pledge to be part of this new and exciting chapter in the Talliston adventure. <laughs>